Carbon pipeline projects continue to make progress here in Siouxland, but some local legislators might want to slow down those plans. KCAU 9 reporter Nick Wilson tonight sharing how proposed legislation would impact these businesses and how local ethanol companies would be impacted as well. It's our top story tonight at 10. The Iowa legislature is discussing bills which would increase the permission and transparency that pipeline companies need in order to receive eminent domain for their projects. People in the ethanol industry tell me they're excited about how these pipelines could help them. Senator Jeff Taylor introduced five bills into the Iowa Senate related to pipeline activity. One of these bills, Senate File 101, would stop the Iowa Board of Utilities from awarding eminent domain to companies who wish to create a hazardous liquid pipeline. Taylor says eminent domain should only be for public use. Regardless of the reasons that landowners don't want the pipelines to go through their land, they should have a right to say no. Senator Kevin Alons says he shares Taylor's concerns about eminent domain being used. I, I question some of the underlying science and rationale for it. Obviously, it's it's like so many energy initiatives. It's really, they're trying to force it to be a viable and required discussion. Alons says these projects don't provide any economic benefit to the state of Iowa, with the exception that local ethanol companies would be able to use these pipelines. Nick Bowdish is the president and CEO of Siouxland Ethanol. That company produces 95 million gallons of ethanol each year. Wherever you have corn and soybeans grown in the Midwest, um, what we expect is that the, the very highest local prices paid to farmers for corn and soybeans will ultimately happen, and, and this applies to cash rents and land values too, it'll happen in areas that have ethanol plants or renewable ag processing plants sequestering their carbon. Jesse Harris is with Summit Carbon Solutions. He says the future of ethanol in Siouxland depends on if companies can store their CO2 in pipelines. And without that, it's going to be hard to maintain a viable uh, viable ethanol industry. And keep in mind, too, uh, here in Iowa, ethanol purchases about 60% of all the corn that's grown in the state. So we need to maintain a strong uh, ethanol industry to make sure that our land values stay strong and make sure our commodity prices stay strong. Senator Taylor says these bills have been assigned to a Commerce Committee, which will decide whether or not these bills will receive a public hearing. Nick Wilson, KCAU 9 News.